looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana, and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park in the Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you. Well, we're here with Mr. Jeremy. He's agreed to sit with us today and tell us all about the Wild Turkey Federation and some of the things they've got going on. Now, what is it actually called? It's not Wild Turkey Federation. It's, it's what? It's the NWTF, National Wild Turkey Federation. It's nationwide. We uh, buy a lot of land, try to save it for next generation. We put on a lot of fundraisers to be able to do this. We take a lot of kids out turkey hunting, veterans, new hunters try to get them into it. Now when you say you take um, kids out to hunting and do this, you all actually put on a thing to where the, all the hunters are paired up with a young child that doesn't normally go hunting. Yes we did. Uh, we put on four hunts this spring that we took kids out Right. that never got to hunt before. We actually gave those away at our NWTF banquet down Switzerland County back in February. Glad to say that we had actually three out of the four kids kill turkeys. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was a great weekend. We get a lot of sponsors. They donate um, anything from camouflage to turkey culls. We have uh, a couple taxidermists that actually gave the youth free mounts. So really exciting for them. That is for a kid yeah. to, to shoot something. One is exciting if they don't normally get to do it, and then to have somebody mount it for them, and then they get to keep it and yeah. all those memories. That's really something cool. Something last forever for them. Yeah. So. Now you've got some things going on coming up this coming weekend. We have what a, is that? We have a big ride down Switzerland County. It's going to be out to Bennington. Uh, it's a UTV ATV Jeep ride. Basically, we'll be off off the state highways at all times. We'll be doing a lot of back roads, some gravel, but mostly just blacktop roads. And a little, we go down to the creek. We have three different stops. We'll be having some raffles going on, stuff there. Uh, pretty excited. The Switzerland County archery team at the school made it to World again this year. So this, I believe, is their fourth year. So a way to help get them there is we're putting this ride on we're actually raffling off uh, a ranger and some guns firearms and stuff or some tickets on and they're getting 25 percent of everything we make off that to help pay for their way to I believe it's Orlando this year's where now with the raffle how can they get in contact with you in order to participate in this raffle what can they do to do that they can contact me at 812-599-7314 or go on Jeremy Robinson's Facebook page, send me a private message. They can also go on the Law Three Creek Longbeards page, and all the information's on there. They can send me a message. I'll be more than happy to meet you someplace and get you a ticket. You do not have to be signed up early for this ride. If you do happen to get with me today or tomorrow, you get a chance at a Yeti cooler. So, but. It's $25 for the ride, $10 for passengers. That comes with your meal and a chance at two different Yeti coolers we will be giving away. Then we have several guns and Yetis that we'll be raffling off during the ride. Now, what are some of the other things? I know you're going to do more than just ride on this ride this coming weekend. What are some of the other things you're going to do during the ride that are interesting and unique for you all? Well, uh, at the end of the ride, we have the House of Brisket's going to be there serving dinner that evening. That's going to be awesome. You guys uh, need to taste this. <laughs> we're going to have a live band that's going to be set up playing for us. And now who's your band that you've got this year? You know. <laughs> They've actually changed your name. Larry Scudder's the gentleman that's, that's providing good. it for us. Him and his wife's big with the archery program down in Beebe. So they said they'd come out and play for a couple hours for us. Uh, they're, they're, they really sound good. You need to listen. D&D Fireworks out of Switzerland County, Glen Bavard, Jamie Peters owns it. They're going to put on a fireworks show for us. Oh, wow. I mean, it's a pretty big fireworks show they'll be doing. I think everybody will be happy with it. 
that'll wrap up the night. Uh, something I did miss that morning out at the Bavard cabin. Uh, it's on Edith Adams Road. You can contact me about this or Lori Peters or Cassie Bavard or Whitney Robinson. We're having a ladies day event. We have one lady there that will be teaching how to use fly fishing poles. We have a lady there going to be cooking in cast iron, showing younger generation how to make homemade pies out on open fire. We have a gentleman from Kentucky coming over to do a handgun demonstration, showing the safety factors of all it. And then we'll have a clay pigeon shoot set up and let the women shoot the shotguns. Just a fun day. It's a, if you're an NWTF member, it's free for you. If you're not, it's $35, but we're actually going to give you a membership with that. So. Oh, wow. Now, what day is that where all the ladies are going to come to the That's cabin? also June the 3rd. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. it starts at 9 a.m. that morning. You can chew up any time. You know, there'll be activities going on all the way up to about 1 o'clock. Then we're going to shut the ladies' day event down. So we can go ahead and get ready for the ride. And and that's when you start your ride, is a, yeah. after one. The ride starts at two, sign ups from twelve thirty right. to two. And then what time will the briskets be served? Is that lunch or dinner? Uh we're actually doing pulled pork. Uh, yes, but yes. that'll be served at It'll be served that evening. Oh about good. six thirty. Yes. Our ride's gonna leave at two. We plan on being back around six, a little after right. six. It's a forty four mile ride. So now how many did you have participate last year? I know you this had a is our lot first of year. You had a you had yes. a ride though. This well, our ride was in December. We yes. actually did it for hops. Yes. And raised a lot of money for them. So we'll be having it again right. in December and hopefully I'll be back with you beforehand. And oh he will we, be. <laughs> we can get some people, you know, come up. We've done last year it was hops. Uh, the year before last we had a little girl that had cancer and we did it for their right. family and stuff. Uh, the year before we did uh uh, it was like a Christmas deal. We raised money for up. We went out and bought Christmas presents for a family, and they didn't know it. And we bought them meal stuff. They had a hardship right there before Christmas. So the girls, Lori Peters and Cassie and uh, Whitney and Carla Van Norster, and all decided to try to do something each year. You know, try to help out the community some. So we all love riding our Rangers and or side by side so we thought what better way to do it than this here i, I think mean. that's a great way to do it so now some of the things that they're going to learn the ladies like with the cast iron they're actually going to learn how to cook out on the fire with the cast iron kittles yes and well what the we'll have some kind of stew going or yes. bean soup and then my mom actually makes homemade pies in a dutch oven yes she takes charcoal and covers the dutch oven and puts it all in there all our ingredients and oh, cooks wow. it and then when it's about time she, you'll see her turn the lid every once in a while so oh, she gets the top all completely brown i tell you i i don't think there's anything better than cooking in cast iron a slow cooker on a stove or in the wood yeah in a in a fire every year i try to make sure that i buy a ham and i put it up until we lose power and i get that ham out <laughs> and i put it on in a cast iron kettle on the wood stove for a whole day let it cook all day long man that just falls apart yeah there's nothing like it we do probably about 80 percent of our cooking at home in cast iron i, so. I think this would be great for anybody you know if you, if you just want to learn how to cook in cast iron you're gonna you're gonna find out some real neat tips from his mom she's pretty cool at this yeah it's it's gonna be a fun-filled day a lot of activities going on this is a family day this is not just for the guys or the girls right. this is the whole family this uh, is really cool we got kids coming any kids Five and under is free. Everybody else, it's ten dollars for the kids. Right. But we're going to give them a Jake membership to the NWTF. Oh wow! So try to get them involved. They'll get some magazines and stuff with their membership. Right. And just try to get more kids involved into it and keep them out well, outdoors. And this is great. I think I think you need to you know you need to try to make it out to this. You know, is there anything we need to tell them that we haven't already covered? Have we got it all? I believe so. It's twenty-five dollars for your machine and the driver. It's ten dollars for each additional passenger. Uh, we do have the raffle going on. It's a hundred-dollar chance, but it's a Polaris nine hundred Ranger, and then we have a Browning A five shotgun, and then we have a pair of Glocks for third place. We have a Hello Axma 22254th, 
and a Kimber 9mm two-tone it will be the fifth place uh, little steep prices the hundred dollars you know but we do have about twenty five thousand dollars worth of prizes we're giving away yes to some lucky people you know so yeah the and the max tickets I'm selling is 500 right now we're sitting at about a hundred and fifty tickets sold so somebody's going to get a really good opportunity to oh, pick up a player's wow. ranger and take home with them. Yeah, that's just the so, ranger is worth yeah. it. And then the guns on top of it, you know, the chance to win one of those, any one of those prizes is worth it, the entry fee. So, And it goes to a great cause. Another thing, if you can't make it out the run, if you want to get your kids or your wife or yourself involved with the NWTF, anytime, call me, 812-599-7314. More than happy to meet up with you, get you signed up. I'm always looking for some committee members, some guys help out at the banquet and stuff with us. So, like I said, you can go on my Facebook page or you can look up Law Three Creek Long Beards. We have a Facebook page for it also. Well, this is great. I really appreciate you being with us today. I and appreciate you coming down and interviewing me again. Oh, you're you know? welcome. And and then something neat that we forgot to tell you guys. He's asked us to come out to the cabin, so we're going to get to take you all in a few weeks and go out to the cabin and show you what goes on there and some of the cool things that they're going to be doing. And uh, if you have meetings, the meetings are at the cabin a lot of times, and it's yep. really pretty out there. So we appreciate anybody that wants to come out, you know. Our donations are going all for the NWTF, and 25% is going to the archery program to try to get them to world this year. Oh, so. wow. That's it. That's, that's remarkable for those kids to make it that far. One that's last thing I'd like to mention, uh, there was a gentleman come to our banquet last year from Minnesota, had never been to Indiana before in his life, right. down Vivi. He actually agreed to buy us this ranger. His name's Cody Cook with RMS Energy. He uh, liked what he saw at our banquet, got talking to him about the archery program, my son did, and he's like, well, let me see what I can do for you. Well, I said, how about buying us a ranger kind of joking around he's like i can do that <laughs> so it come together i mean uh i checked around a couple of places a guy down lexington kentucky said hey i'll hook you guys up and help right. you with the ranger drop the price down and they threw in lexington motorsports gave us the windshield and the right. roof for the ranger so it's pretty well loaded ready to go right. i mean well, that just goes to show you, you never know till you ask. No. You know, so. so, if you see me knocking on your door, more than likely I'm going to be there looking for a donation, but I promise you all the money's been used wisely. Right. And it's going to support our habitat and, and our youth kids. today. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of different things. We're going to have a Jake's Day this fall. we are actually got a gentleman that's... Uh, He's okay to us to use his farm to release pheasant and quail on. Oh, wow. And we're going to take ladies out one day and then yes. the kids out the next day oh. and let them pheasant hunt. And oh, there's, we'll nothing like, and there's nothing like going pheasant hunting. No, it's... You know, to, and to take your dog out and let them find those birds and point them and then flush the bird. Oh, that is cool. We, uh, I actually got to take two youth this back in January and it was big deal for them. I mean, all the kids got to yeah. kill pheasant. Every one of them had the opportunity to kill two pheasant. I think we had about 85% of them that got two pheasant. Each kid got at least one pheasant. I actually missed our state banquet that night. I remember you telling me that. Taking the kids out <laughs> on the hunt, so but... But it was worth it. It was worth it. I yeah. mean, that's what I do. I volunteer my time for the right. NWTF and I spend a lot of time doing it. But you have a passion for it, and, and it shows in everything you do because you do it as if it's if it's you own it, and so you make it always look good. You make it turn out well. You you put a lot of time in to make it work for everybody. I do. I mean, that's so, thing about it. That's, we got some big things coming up for a banquet in February. You don't want to miss this. Anybody that's ever had a dream of going up in a helicopter with a machine gun in their hands. <laughs> Stay tuned because we'll be back with some great information on that. We'll later definitely in the fall. be back for this one. So.
And, and so that's it. We're good, aren't we? Yep, I believe so. Well, awesome. Well, thank you again, Jeremy. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you coming down, taking the time out of your day. I know you're a busy lady. So. Oh, well, I'll make time for you. <laughs> believe me. You just let me know what's going on. We'll make time. So. Okay. I'm going to have to get over here to the house and brisket and yeah. get the barbecue going. So. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check all this out.